a lot of what I write is considered offensive, and it's, it's not meant to be offensive, it's just pure satire. And with that, I'd like to read out Gypsies in Space. <laughs> NASA has claimed it spotted knackers on Hubble. Stephen Hawking said, shit, we're in fucking trouble. Direct message to the human race, the tinkers are in outer space. <laughs> Business, welfare, welfare on the moon. Balanced slow lurches in an Elvis tune. Polaris, Milky Way, Kryptonite. The universe is one big halting site. As a planet we cannot take any more, it's going to be a series on Channel 4. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my poems are quite short. This is a short poem about my neighbor's dog, because I don't have a dog. I'm not around all the time, but I'd love to have a dog. And it's called A Dog's Life. Life wouldn't be a slog if I could only be a dog. Forget this austerity farce. All I want to do is smell dog's arse. <laughs> Tongue out running down the path, admiring mounds of shit I shat. <laughs> Up a tree the cat it crawls. I sit down and lick my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I have a poem for the referendum coming up. I wrote it three years ago. I fucking knew it was coming. So I wrote this. <laughs> and it's about, never mind, why can't ma man marry man? Why can't man marry sheep? And, uh, <laughs> This is called The Cow and the Sheep. After many years of sharing the same field, an interspecies love began to yield, from running in the grass and enjoying a joke, to scratching their hides and learning to smoke. A proper relationship with passionate feelings befriended. What happened in the bushes was not what God intended. <laughs> their best friends knew the chicken and the horse. Of this forbidden union they said nothing, of course. Then the pig found out and raised the alarm and squealed to the man who was running the farm. Cow and sheep were butchered to alleviate the shame. Chicken and horse knew the pig was to blame. Then late one night when the animals were in bed, they put on balaclavas and sneaked into the shed <laughs> and took turns firing bullets into his fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I have a big credit to the Irish Armed Forces. I just don't understand why we need to spend so much money on, on armed forces in Ireland. This is Irish soldier mining cash van. Standing to attention, eyes looking around, ears pricked up, listening for sound. At any stage, getting ready to run, not trusted for bullets for your gun. The nation is satisfied and the uniform shows. We don't want you to blow off all your toes. I suppose it's cool, you look fairly hard. It beats the fuck out of being a guard. <laughs> the rumours are flying and maybe you've heard. When you're on tour, other guys are shagging your bard. So if it really lifts off, you can kick back and snore. You signed up for neutrality, not the possibility of war. Thank you. <laughs>